Yeah, hey, Joe. Um, Justin Hughes had told us the other day that he, he thought this offense looked like Texas Tech because of the pace that they play at. Do you see some of those similarities there also? I do. When you watch tape, there's a lot of people that aren't getting lined up. Uh, there's a lot of people that are very basic. A lot of people that uh, maybe deviate a little bit from what they want to do just because uh, they're a little nervous that they won't be able to get lined up, get communication out. Uh, certainly a concern, uh, something that we've been working on an awful lot. I know that you can't get into all the specifics here, but how much have you guys been affected right now by COVID injuries, et cetera, personnel-wise on the defensive side? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. And uh, we've been affected. I, it's, uh, I imagine every team in the country has been affected a little bit, you know, but we got what we got. Cavalry's not coming. Um, you know, let's go play ball. Appreciate it. Scott Fritchen. Yeah, hey, Joe. Um, watching uh, Arkansas State, they have two tall wide receivers, six foot three Adams and six foot five Green. Um, how do you guys prepare for that this week? How, what kind of challenge do they give you? Well, we're going to put springs in the bottom of all of our corners cleats <laughs> and see if that helps. If they're not able to run fast, then we'll go back to the normal shoe. Um, no, I, I, it's, it's just about technique when it comes to what's going on on the edge. Um, if you have good body position on a guy, this, you can really negate the size advantage that, that a receiver might have. You know, it's not the only time in the year that we're going to see big guys. I mean, you know, we're going to see that weekly. And if that's an issue for us, we've got a big problem ahead. And, and uh, it, it will be an issue. I mean, those guys are, um, are good players. They go up and track the ball really well. Uh, but we're good at corner, too. And we're not afraid to let those guys go out there and play a little bit. But we're going to try to throw some different looks at those guys and, um, you know, see what we can do out there. And you're obviously going to play multiple cornerbacks. But who will be the two that you start with? You know, to be honest with you, it's still a, it's still a, a competition going on to this day. Uh, you're going to see a, a, a heavy dose of A.J. Parker. Um, you're going to see a heavy dose of Lance Robinson. You're going to see a heavy dose of Keandre Thomas. You're going to see Justin Gardner. Um, but, you know, I, I will say that all four of those guys have been impressive. Um, all four of those guys, um, you know, would deserve the opportunity to start. Unfortunately, we can only start with a couple of them at a time. Um, so, I, I, you know, we're going to go through today's practice yet before we make that determination. Thanks, Joe. Kellis? Given that uh, Arkansas State doesn't have really much to scout on from you and they've got to go all the way back to last season for your defense, do you feel the need to throw anything new at them and keep them guessing this week? I don't know. They're going to go back and check. The, when I was the coach of the Powder Puff team back in high school, we uh, – um, no, I don't, I don't know. We, we, uh, we're, we're going to, um, you know, I, yeah, they'll see some new things from us, certainly. Um, you know, I, I think that they're going to have a pretty good idea of where we are and who we are. Um, you know, I don't think there's going to be anything drastic that they're going to see that, uh, that they don't anticipate. You know, we're going to go out and execute what we do. They're going to go out and execute what they do, and we're going to see where the chips fall. And uh, what, what's your stance on blitzing versus just getting – a pass rush with four. I know you'd obviously love to do it with two or three, but how do you balance that out as a defensive coordinator? Well, I, I think good question. Overall, I think that uh, you got to make the quarterback uncomfortable. You know, he can't just sit back there and throw seven on seven. And if you're able to generate pressure with four, you know, I think that's maybe the big determining factor. You know, I, I am, um, we've got to get that guy off his spot and moving. And if we can do that with four guys, all the better. You know, if we can't, then we've got to find ways to generate some of that stuff with pressure. John? Yeah, I'm sure we'll see them both, but how tight is the competition between uh, Boo Massey and, and Khalid Duke at the end right now? Very tight. Uh, again, um, you know, Khalid has had a, a phenomenal camp. I mean, he's emerged as a guy that's just uh, not just a guy. He's a difference maker. And, and Boom is so solid in what he does and physical. He played a lot of ball here. Um, very, very comfortable with him also. So, um, you're right. Again, we're going to go through today and see how that all pans out. But um, we're excited to see them both. Thanks. Derek? Those are a few of the defensive linemen that we've already seen. What are some of, uh, I guess, new faces at defensive line that you can anticipate being in the rotation on Saturday? You're going to see D. Hintz uh, inside. 
Um, you'll see Derek Newton inside, uh, both guys that are new to the program. Um, you're going to see um, Felix Anaduque, uh, you know, new to the program. You're going to see Kamari Gaines, new to the program. You know, all guys that have been practicing with us for about three weeks. And, uh, um, you know, we're, we're, we feel great about where they are. I think we're going to um, feel great about where they are physically, we feel good about where they are mentally. And, you know, I'm excited to get those guys out there and see how they perform in the heat. Adam. Coach, as you talked about the balance between pass rushing and coverage and wanting to make the quarterback feel uncomfortable, just how big do you think it will be for these defensive linemen if they're able to get a few sacks in on Saturday? Well, I think just generating momentum for everything you do will help you. You know, if you're a corner and you're playing man coverage and you're getting some good uh, connections on guys and, and getting in phase on guys, it's going to make you feel a little bit better about yourself. So when you're able to get some good rushes in, especially early, it's going to make you feel so much better about yourself later on in the game and later on in the season. You know, it's going to make you think, hey, I can, you know, I can, I can do this. And uh, it just changes the whole mentality of who you are as a player. And so uh, we, we hope to get those guys off early, get them in uh, opportunities where they can get some one-on-ones and see what they can do. For these last so I'll answer your question, man. I, I, uh, I listen to Coach Mass, and he's so dang serious all the time, man. I'm hoping to... <laughs> You guys get me until you want there. We'll do these last two here with John and uh, Kel. Let's go ahead, John. Yeah, just, just hearing you talk about the new faces that you're going to have and so many guys that have only been with you for a couple of weeks at this point, how much do you have to drum things down from where you would typically maybe have a defensive package at this point in the year? Well, I'm not going to answer that specifically, but I will say that, that uh, we will be a much better football team in the middle of October than we are right now. Uh, that I can guarantee you. You know, we're going to be uh, uh, just going to see so many pictures so many more times, uh, react so much faster, communicate so much cleaner. Um, we're still a work in progress, to be sure. Go ahead, Kels. We spent a lot of time uh, this month talking about Justin Hughes and Elijah Sullivan at linebacker. What about the younger guys who will be coming in and playing a little bit this week? What can you tell us about them? Well, I'll tell you a guy, two, two guys that, that have had uh, as good, if not better, camps than, than those guys just uh, um, is Deuce Green and, and Cody Fletcher. Um, you're going to see a good amount of those two guys also in there. Um, wouldn't be surprised if you see some Austin Moore in there. Um, you know, we, we do feel pretty good about, about uh, some of those guys. And obviously, Deuce and Cody have been in the heat a little bit. I'm excited to see how Austin will react, you know, when he gets under the lights. And, and uh, I'm excited to get Justin back in the fold. You know, I, I really am. You, you can talk about all the game experience he has, but that game experience, is, it's been a while now. I mean, he's, uh, he, he's dusty. And so I'm excited to get him back. And, you know, everybody, when you, when you look at it, you know, we haven't had many opportunities to scrimmage live. We haven't had many opportunities to do a lot of things and a lot of tackling, for that matter, in, in camp. And so I think everybody, uh, you know, going all the way back to December 31st is ready to get, ready to get uh, physical with somebody here.